Hello, people of God. I want to welcome you to the 3rd of October, 2022. Today is another exciting day. Just in case you missed yesterday, we looked at the, you know, destroying the operations of every form of demonic oppression in our life. And we've treated oppression. And I want you to go back and watch that and pray concerning it so that every form of oppression in your life will be destroyed. Today we are looking at exposing demonic oppressions part two. And by the grace of God, we are dealing with the demon called depression. I've seen this word flies everywhere. Before people, young people will say they are depressed, old people say they are depressed, but they don't know they are dealing with a demon. Today, the oppression of depression in your life shall be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the entrance of your word brings life. I pray. Is there anyone on the call today that is struggling with any form of depression? The hand of the Lord comes upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. And you are set free in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Demonic oppression called depression. Let's look into the book of Psalm chapter 42, verse 11, which is our memory verse for today. Psalm 42, verse 11. The Bible says, Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why hast thou been liquided within me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him, who is the, who is the health of my countenance and my God. This is the psalmist talking to himself. That's David talking to himself. When he was at a state we call depression today. Many people talk about depression today. When things are not going the way they have planned. When their aspirations are not met. They begin to come into a place they call depression. What is depression? It's a state of sadness. When people just for no reason. Some people don't even know the reason why they are sad. They don't know that what they are dealing with is a power and the oppression of the devil. But I want to pray for you today. As the Lord is exposing it, he's going to also destroy it in the mighty name of Jesus. It's a state of being pushed down. Be, you know, we look at oppression yesterday. When a man is oppressed, he can get to a place of depression. And that is what God doesn't want us to be because he has given us the spirit of life. He said in his word that he has given us sound mind. But when you find someone who is depressed, he cannot even think properly. What happens to him? The devil begins to manipulate, you know, putting things that are not, that, that are not real as if they are real. When a man puts his situation above God, he thinks his situation is bigger than God and no one can rescue him. He begins to think on how to take his own life. Can I pray for you? If you are operating under any yoke of depression, the hand of God will come to rescue you in the mighty name of Jesus. According to his word, he said his mighty hand is able to rescue. He will find you where you are and rescue you in the mighty name of Jesus. How do one get out of depression? How do one get out of depression? Number one, you must hear the voice of God. Psalm 119, verse 30. Psalm 119, verse 30. The Bible says, The entrance of his word brings light. The entrance of God's word brings light. When the light shines upon your darkness, the, it begins to remind you of what is possible. It begins to remind you of the possibilities of the word of God. And when you, second thing you can do is to study his word. The Bible says the word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. It can pierce through art. What the word of God is going to show you is to let you know the promises of God for you. It's helping you to know the reality where you are and begin to shun the lies of the enemy. Because when you are in the state of depression, what the devil is doing is to lie to you. Remember, he is the father of all lies. And when you study the word of God, the word of God will tell you the truth of the word of God. The Bible says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. You are set free today in the mighty name of Jesus. And when you allow God's presence to come to you, hey, the Bible says, in his presence, there is liberty. So when you enter into the presence of God, you are you are exposing yourself into freedom. Can I pray for you? Every state of depression in your life, as you encounter the presence of God, it will set you free in the mighty name of Jesus. One of the things that help depression thrive is isolation. Don't isolate yourself. Don't take yourself away from people that love you. Don't take away yourself from going to the presence of God. Find a place where people of God is. Enjoy yourself in God's presence and you see your situation. Turning around in the mighty name of Jesus. Exodus chapter 33, verse 14. Exodus 33, verse 14 says, And he said, 
My presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. I pray for you. Enter into your rest in the name of Jesus. Enter into your rest in the mighty name of Jesus. I see God settling you in the mighty name of Jesus. And finally, Psalm chapter 27, verse 8. Psalm 27, verse 8 says, When thou said, Seek my face, and my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Can I pray for you? The face of God will shine upon you. The face of God will shine upon your situation in the mighty name of Jesus. Our prayer point today is, is Father, drown every voice of the devil in my ears. And amplify your voice in my heart in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you. You begin to hear God. You begin to hear God over that situation in the mighty name of Jesus. Till I come your way again, make sure you stay in his presence. God bless you.